welcome back to my channel. If you are brand new to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, ring that notification bell so you can be notified anytime I do upload a video. Today what I wanted to do is just sit and do my makeup. I wanted to do like a grungy Halloween makeup. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out, but I did want to play with some pinks and purples. I'm going to play with my Jeffree Star Bloodlust palette. I haven't played with this in quite some time, and I figured I would play with some of the darker, more grungy Halloween colors in this palette. And so if you'd like to just come hang out with me on this snowy day while I do my makeup, then just keep watching. All right, so I just put my hair up. I do already have my eyebrows done, my eyelids primed, so I'm going to go ahead and start with my eyes. So I'm going to grab my Bloodlust palette, and I'm going to go into... Let's go into my Vivid Moon, which is this really pretty purple color, and I'm going to apply that to the inner half of my crease area. I don't really know what I'm going to do. I'm just kind of playing. I want to do a bit more grungy Halloween makeup, just in case you don't feel like wearing a costume, but you wanted to apply a little bit of more festive makeup for Halloween. I really love this palette. I haven't used it a lot. But I'm definitely getting back into eyeshadows now that it is fall time. Well, today it's straight up winter. We've had a ton of snow the last three days. It has just been um, snowing like crazy. And now there is probably, I mean, there's a good foot or so on the, on the ground. And then this morning when I was taking my son to school, there it was rainy. So it was like sleety, rainy snow. It was freaking miserable. <laughs> And I am so bummed because I love fall so much, but really here in Montana, we only had about two weeks worth of fall weather, and then it is snowing like crazy. I'm hoping the snow will melt away and we can go back to a little bit more fall before full-on winter sets in. So I am just doing a half crease with that purple, really just packing on that color, intensifying it a lot, and I'm taking it up quite a bit into my crease because I'm going to cut my... Um, crease so it won't be so defined. So next I'm going to go into the Scandal Waters which is this really pretty periwinkle blue mm -hmm. and and I'm going to apply that to the second half of my crease. And I am kind of packing it and then blending it out. Now I'm going to take this Blood Queen, I'm putting it in my outer V area and with a smaller brush. And just kind of packing that on. And then I'm going to go into this Dungeon color, which is a dark grayish color. And I'm going to put that with even a smaller brush on the out, very, very outer corner. Just going to deepen that up just a little bit. Now I'm going to cut the crease. I'll be right back. I went ahead and cut the crease. Now I'm going with this wet jewel in the inner corner. And then I'm going to take pink magic and put it on the middle of the lid and blend those together. All right, so there is the eyes. I'm going to leave it at that. I did clean up all the fallout. This palette does have quite a bit of glitter fallout, but I don't mind it because it's such it has such an impactful glitter. I don't really mind it. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my base. I'm going to use my Wet n Wild. This is the Prime Focus Primer Serum. I've been using this quite a bit since I hauled it. I really do enjoy it. Um, and because it is so dry here right now because of all the snow, I need any extra hydration I can get. <laughs> and then for foundation, I'm also going to use my Color Pop pretty fresh foundation. I've been using this quite a bit since I purchased it. So I'm going to apply just a little bit on my cheeks, a little bit on my chin, and blend that out. This is a really nice lightweight winter foundation. I do really enjoy it. I've been using quite a bit since I bought it. And I do still plan on doing a haul update with the few products that I hauled a week or so ago, and this will be in that update. And then for concealer, I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Naked Skin. This is probably one of my favorite concealers. I really do like it, and I know it's not anything new, 
Um, but I got it in such a light color last winter, and I haven't been able to use it, so it's kind of rediscovered in my collection since my tana started to fade, and I really do like it. And if you hear any messing around, I do have my little puppy. She is just hanging out with me, and she's playing with stuff. The little collar makes a lot of noise, so if you, if you hear anything, that is what that is. The bronzer, I'm going to go on my Fenty Cream Bronzer. This is in Macchiato. And I'm just going to apply that just to the perimeter of my face. And this makeup doesn't look super grungy yet, but I will grunge it up a little bit more with um, some more eyeshadow once I'm done. All right, so for blush to tie in with the eyes, I'm going to use my NARS Sin Blush. I really like this. It is a bit of a different color. Um, it does match really well with an eyeshadow look like this. And it has such a beautiful glow. Highlighter, I'm going to go in with my Jeffree Star. This is a liquid frost, and this is in Frostbite. Okay, so for this highlighter, I apply just a little bit to the back of my hand. I'm going to use a large, fluffy eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to just swirl it. And this is my favorite way to apply liquid highlighter because it applies in such a soft, blended way so you don't get too much and it's not too harsh. And this highlighter is really cool for Halloween because it does have a bit of glitter, so it is definitely like kind of fairy-ish type highlighter. <laughs> And then to add a little bit to the look, I'm going to do my Dare to Soar Wet n Wild blush. Apply just a little bit of that. Add a little glow to my cheeks, a little something a little different for Halloween. I'm going to use just the tiniest bit of powder, my Jeffree Star Magic Star Powder, just to set my concealer. The drier weather, I just can't use a ton of powder, so I'm just using just the littlest bit just to set that. I'm going with the Scandal Water, and I'm going to start smoking out my under... Eye. Like a bit of a smaller brush, I'm going to go into that dungeon color and go a little bit closer to my lash line. I'm going to go into the wet jewel and I'm going to put that in my inner tear duct and then bring it down to my lower lash line. And right now I'm just applying some of that vivid mood into the front half of my lower lash line. Okay, so that is the finished eye look. I'm going to apply mascara and then I'll be right back. All right, so there is the finished look. So what I love about this is I would wear this any, like during the daytime on Halloween and then all you'd have to do is change up the lips and you could go from pretty fairy to scary witch and I'm going to show you a couple different options for lips to take this eyeshadow look and kind of make it into some type of different costume. So say you want to go for like a pretty fairy and you want to throw on a little fairy wings so what you could do is a lighter peachier glossy lip so I'll show you. I'll go ahead and line my lips. This is Morphe Makeup Talk. And then I'm going to take Dose of Colors. This is their Brulee lipstick, which is a light peachy color. And then I'm going to take ColourPop's Catnip Lip Gloss. Here you have kind of like a fairy, ethereal, pretty, glossy lip that you could always, that you could throw on, add a little glitter to the cheeks, throw some wings on, and you have a fairy costume. Now I'll show you the darker lip option with this look, so you can change it up to more of like a scary kind of witch look. I'm going to use the same lip liner. And then I'm going to apply NARS's The Power Matte Lip Pigment in Wild Night. It is a very, very vampy dark purple, and I think this will just add a spooky little twist to the look. All right, and then there is that dark bambi lip. I love this look. I think this is beautiful. So you could wear the eyeshadow of the face during the day, throw on this lip. And then sometimes what I like to do is add a little bit of a highlighter or I will use my blush topper into the middle. And it makes it look super dimensional. Spooky, kind of witchy vibe to it. So you can wear this look during the day, apply a dark lip, add a little witch hat, and you are set for the day. So I hope you enjoy this really quick and easy kind of grungy Halloween makeup look. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.